everybody. Welcome to week two of our Countdown to Christmas, 12 weeks of projects for you to use um, at home, at school, wherever you need little projects. This week's project is really easy. It's a little tag that will hold one of these Via Mocha flavored coffees. And also, I added it to one of these Starbucks cups. This is a plastic one that you can buy, but they will give you empty ones if you buy a gift card. So last year someone gave me this cute little keychain gift card and it fits perfectly in this little tag holder and wrapped around a cup. How cute is that? All right, so real quick, this is a really easy project. I took this chalk talk framelit and cut out two baked brown sugar shapes and I put sticky strip along the edge here and I'm gonna pull them out and lay this right on top of here like this okay now when you first get it together you have to kind of stick your finger in there to make that pocket for the coffee okay so there we have it like that and now for the coffee cup this is not a christmas stamp set it's called perfect blend perfect stamp for all 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 year long. Everybody drinks coffee these days. So I stamped it in baked brown sugar on Whisper White and cut it out. It's really easy to cut. And then I, I stamped it again on another piece of Season of Style DSP. And as you can see, I'm just going to cut the little, I guess, coffee, I don't know what you call that, the warmer that or the, the thing that you hold on to that they slip, the sleeve, that's what it's called, the sleeve, the coffee sleeve. And I'm going to add that on with a dimensional. Now the sentiment that I found that I thought was best for this comes from Remembering Christmas. And it's this one, Warm Wishes. Again, you could use any sentiment that you have. It doesn't have to be the exact same. But if you have this one, I thought it would go great with coffee. So I stamped it in baked brown sugar on Whisper White. And I'm going to cut a V in the middle. And... Let's see, the first, before I do that, I also have a smaller strip of the DSP. This is just the back side. And, you know, as far as measurements with these, I just cut. This is probably half an inch. Let's see, no, it's more like three eighths of an inch and by two inches. But there's no right or wrong with these guys. So you're going to cut a V out or cut in the, in the middle, like I showed you in the last video, and go from corner to from one corner up and the other corner up. And I'm going to use some snail to put that right there and add some snail for this guy and put him right there. Now I think I want him sticking off a little bit more like that. All right, now to make this look a little more realistic, I have a coffee stir here. And when you're at Starbucks buying your gift card or buying your Via or whatever, grab one of these or a handful, just saying. They're out there for you to take. Um, no, really, if you're buying a gift card, I don't think that they would mind if you took one of these. And I'm just going to cut the tip off. And I use, not my best scissors, but, you know, some, you know, okay scissors. And I used it up here. It cut just fine. And I'm going to use a glue dot right here and add it to that little hole there that's for drinking. And then this is a linen twine bow and I'm going to use a glue dot for that also and stick it right there. All right, last but not least, put some dimensionals right here. And there you have it. Now for the cup, I took a piece, a long piece of cherry cobbler chevron ribbon, cut it lengthwise up the middle and tied it around. I added some glue dots underneath also to keep, to keep it so that it doesn't slide all the way down. And then you can see I just hooked this underneath and I did again add some glue dots for durability make sure it stays there all right I think this would make a great gift for a teacher or a neighbor or a mailman or whoever in your life is is would appreciate coffee and a cute tag all right thanks for joining me stay tuned next week for week three thanks bye-bye